The first time I went to class, the lecturer kept saying, we, 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 like, we. Anything she said, she always added that we. And deep down in my mind, I was like, what is we? Why do you keep saying it? Well, welcome to Scotland, guys. <laughs> Tovias, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Tovia again. Welcome. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you are welcome to this amazing family. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do right now thumbs up this video and leave me a comment telling me what you like about this YouTube video. Yeah. So guys, you know what we're gonna be diving in today? It's gonna be about Scotland. Now, I've been living here for some years now and all throughout those years that I've lived in Scotland, Glasgow mostly, I have been able to learn loads of stuff. Like I have experienced a whole lot of stuff. Being that I came from Italy, comparing Italy and Scotland, I must tell you guys, it is a whole different world out here. Everything here is just different. It's amazing, but it is different okay i have been getting lots of requests from people asking me to why don't you start making videos about the places you're living about scotland why don't you kind of share all some ideas or stuff with us i was like okay this is the perfect time all right so this new year i'm going to focus on pros and cons about the places i have lived and the place i'm currently living so if you guys want to see all of this video subscribe down below but let me just get this clear guys i'm gonna be saying quite a whole lot of stuff on this video but let me tell you guys i love scotland this is one country that i've lived and i've been able to achieve a whole lot of stuff in my life so i am grateful to god for all that i've achieved so whatever you hear me say on this video these are my personal experiences my personal opinions you might not agree with me you might agree it doesn't matter it's just for the fun just laugh over there and subscribe nothing to take out art guys Guys, these are my personal experiences like i said at the beginning of the video you might agree or you might not agree but let's just move on with the video so guys the first thing i experienced the very day like the very day i dropped in glasgow airport in scotland like what i first experienced was the scottish accent trust me guys the scottish accent it's really good it sounds so good whenever you listen to it whenever you hear people speaking it you will definitely love it but mm, that accent you see yeah it is hard to learn it is hard to copy compared to the rest of the uk or other english speaking countries like i have compared it when i went to london i heard their english i was like okay this is easy you can easily just pick it up and then start saying it but you see the scottish accent no matter how good it is it is so hard to copy and the reason for this is you know on my intro I was like my teacher was always saying we 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 they use the slangs you will not be able to like understand which one is english and not english again so you know but that being said i love the accent but it's just so like it's deep my sister he hard <laughs> he hard while lying <laughs> So the second pro about living in Scotland or the second thing I've experienced and I love about living in Scotland is total fees are paid for you. So basically, if you're from the EU, but right now that they are living in the EU, I don't think it's going to be the same thing. But back in the days, while they were staying in the EU, like total fees are paid for, which is basically they come out with school fees, like they pay your school fees. That's if you're from the EU. So you get your total fees to be paid for, or if you're Scottish, obviously your total fees will be paid for. And then you can also get extra like students benefits if you actually meet the requirements, because obviously there's always an eligibility to all of this stuff. So if you meet it, you get it paid for but if you're an international student you don't get your total fees paid for school fees paid for so you just like you need to work out for yourself but that's one good thing about living in scotland and i really admire them for that see the next thing i'm gonna talk about right now like if i don't talk about this this video will not be complete trust me and that is the weather scotland has the most annoying weather honestly what do i actually mean you see this place it pours every single day 
it rains every single day like the rain here it just won't stop every single day it's always raining like you'll go at 12 p.m in the afternoon there'll be sun and in the next one hour i don't know the weather will just be like no you guys you don't need sun i'm angry i'm angry and then it will just change automatically like it rains every day like the weather here really sucks i'm not gonna lie it really sucks honestly there is no summer here there is no summer you will like the weather when it's summer because it's kind of like cold then but it is always cold in scotland it is always rainy it rains so bad like every single time it rains you know the popular word weather for two that is what Scotland weather needs to be named, weather for two. Now, my fourth experience living in Scotland, that, this one, I love it. And that is Scottish are friendly and you can never get lost in Scotland. If you should see a glass vision and you're like, oh, I'm actually going to this place and I don't really know the place or like you can't understand the Google map. Trust me, just ask them. They are ready. Trust me. They are ready to take you to the doorstep of that place. Like this has happened to me a whole lot. There are times where I'll be going to work and I won't even know the place I'm going to. If I see someone like, oh, please, I'm looking for this place. Can you show me? They will take me to the doorstep. I'll be like, does this really exist? Like... These people they have other things to do too but they are so friendly to that extent so when it comes to that part i really give it a 10 10 for scottish people because they are really good at this part and i really admire that about them too now my fifth experience living in scotland i don't know this is my personal experience so you might not agree with me this particular one is all about scottish men or boys let's just put it in men basically scottish men just fit too reserved what do I actually mean? Like most Scottish men that has ever approached me, they are not that, I don't know if I should use the word, they are not that bored talking to me face to face. I don't know about you guys, me personally. They find it so hard to say a word to my face, but once they are testing me or we are on call, I'll be like, is this the same person I just saw just now? I could barely say five words. On the shot, they are like everything. They can write to you. They can be so sweet on text messages. But when it comes to chatting face to face, it's something else. And also, I think what oh, I've also experienced in Scotland, like I said before, Scottish men are kind of reserved. They don't decide to actually push you girls that much compared to when I was in Italy. Trust me, Italians, Italian men, Italians. You guys will not see again, not say hi, trust me. When Scottish guy can see you and just compliment you, like, oh, you're looking good, you're looking nice, I love your dress, oh, that's a nice hair, that's, you know, especially on my hair, you know, the stuff, so I always get compliments on stuff like that. And then after the compliment, they will go. But Italians, oh shit, those people will tell you you look good and, you know, they want to, like, proceed, they have that boldness to still go ahead and start you know saying things so this is something i've experienced in scotland i actually find different from other places i've visited even in france when i visited france i've been to france a whole lot of time so comparing france and italy they are kind of close but scotland reserved reserved so the sixth thing i've experienced about living in scotland is scottish people are so proud trust me like they are proud of themselves, of their beautiful country, of, I think they are shipmates in general. They are really proud of it. And if they see you kill into their world, they are ready to carry you, like carry you along. That is one thing I've really experienced about Scotland. They are that country that is like, yeah, they are proud of being yeah, from Scotland, you know. <laughs> and I love Scotland too, so trust me, I do. <laughs> Now, the seventh thing I've experienced about living in Scotland is that the cost of living in Scotland is cheaper compared to other parts of the UK, like London. We all know what London is expensive. Been to both, I've seen both. I have people from London. Oh, they always say, London is too expensive. London is too expensive. It's too expensive, darling. Then why don't you move out? <laughs> anyways guys living in scotland is cheaper compared to living in london so if you want to live in scotland you'll like it here but the weather will actually humble you trust me so the hate thing i want to talk about is scottish people they don't play with their drinks when it's weekend 
you should see a Scottish person talking. Oh my God, I'm going to drink and all of that. They are proud of their drinks. They don't play with this. When it's weekend, they drink. They drink. They enjoy it. This is one thing about Scotland. In case if you don't know, just know right now. They love their drinks. And I don't know if I'm going to end this video without adding this guy to the drink part. Sorry. This drink. Hmm. This is the popular iron brew. Scotland iron brew. This drink is nice. And this is another thing about Scotland. Outside their shortbread, this guy too. It really matters. And their shortbread is really, really good. So good. Now, the night thing I want to talk about Scotland, and this particular one is more like a worldwide thing or what the entire world is starting to kind of be like, like the level the whole world want to be right now. And I know this actually applies to all of the UK and majority of European countries is living in Scotland is like living a computer world. I mean, you got to know technology if you want to live in Scotland. When I first moved here, while I was applying to uni and all of those things, I remember when I even visited the unis I was applying to, they would give you their website, go online and apply, go online and do this, go online and do that. So if you don't have any idea about computer, about technology, I think it's going to be hard for you to really live in Scotland or the UK in general because this is like a world of technology. Everything they do here is more about go online and get everything done. So that's basically what they do here. They're kind of like advanced in this area of technology compared to other places I came from, let's just say Nigeria or Italy. They are way, way advanced more than those two countries. So that's why I said it, I need to add this. So if you want to come to Scotland, make sure you have an idea of how the internet work how things work online and then you should be fine you'll be good so the third thing i want to talk about is the houses the houses i said the fact that scotland actually have those castles and all of these amazing mountains and lovely buildings and all of that but the personal houses scotland they don't use lift in this country they barely put ties like ceramic in their houses. I just want to say this again. When I was in Italy, the buildings are amazing. The grounds are actually all ties, it's ceramic everywhere. But when I moved here, it doesn't work like that. I think it's because of the coat. That's why they actually use more of carpet, rugs, and stuff like that. They don't do ties. They don't have lifts in majority of their houses. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the public transportation. If you're actually on my WhatsApp story or my Insta story, anyone at all, the first time I moved to Scotland, the thing I was always ranting about was with the buses. Honestly, the public transportation here is just different. I have a lot to say about this, but I'm not gonna drop it all on this video because I don't want this video to be too long. I believe it's already too long. I'm gonna reserve some for the part two of this video, but I'm gonna say two things on this video concerning the public transportation. First thing, the buses only have one door and that is the front door so you must buy your tickets if you live in italy you should already understand what i mean by that so let's just drop it secondly the buses are always late and this is why i was always ranting when i moved here. and i'm getting used to it maybe i'm still not used to it <laughs> because i hate waiting for buses anyways and even when the driver comes late you can never write that down you can never say to a driver in Scotland, why are you late? You can never say that to a driver in Scotland. You guys listen, no matter how much I will come out early, the buses are always going to be late. Even if I should come for the first one before the next two, it's going to still come late. I don't know why. It's always late in the place I live. So I just have to say this. Though I love all of the things I've said, but this one is just a con. Because I don't like waiting for buses. I don't. Anyways, guys, that is the 11 things I want to say on this video that I've experienced about living in Scotland. If you guys have experienced the same thing 
other more stuff you've experienced please leave it on the comment section i don't want to be alone or just tell me about the places you live if they are similar please let me know in the comment section and by the way i'm going to be making part two on this video so stay tuned for that video i'm going to be bringing more videos about living in scotland about school and if you like videos like this you know what it is thumbs up this video subscribe if you've not yet subscribed and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video thank you for stopping by i love you all and bye